stop right now. Before you watch this video, we need 1,000 watch hours to get our monetization back on this channel. So please, watch any video we got several times. Any watching helps to get us towards this goal. We really need this. It'll help us to do this a lot more if you guys do that. So, thank you. Well, that sucks. Ah, you know what? That's close enough. All right, so where have I been? Actually, I had this whole intro ready and lined up in my head, but I've been doing this for 20 minutes, walking back and forth. I just ate lunch, my belly's growling, and I gotta poop. Be back in a flash. Okay, so let's rewind this all the way back to late March, early April. I was releasing a brand new album with my producer and fellow rapper, Joey Notto, and I had the bright idea that I would run one mile per 1,000 pre-saves that we got for this album, and I would update everybody every single day. So it started off with like 500 pre-saves, so I would run half a mile, and then it got up to 1,000, so I was running a mile. We ended up getting over 7,000 pre-saves by the time the album came out. It kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and I was running every single day, which was, in hindsight, very stupid of me because I was not that physically active. I hadn't ran in forever, like truly ran on a treadmill or anything like that like I used to in college. And so I went from basically not running at all to running ridiculous amounts of distance. And because of that, I developed plantar fasciitis in both of my feet. So it became very difficult for me to walk let alone try to do some sports videos, go out, play disc golf, play wiffle ball, all this fun stuff. But I was still fighting through the pain, you know, still doing some stuff on the channel. And then I uploaded this video right here on the screen. And in this video, I'm throwing all kinds of different wiffle ball pitches that I know how to throw. And I thought it was a very fun video for me to make. But in this video, I ended up throwing over 300 pitches. And I was repeatedly slamming down on my left foot every time that I would throw. The next day, I was in my kitchen with my girlfriend. I squat down to pick up something off the floor, felt a massive pop in the back of my foot, and it completely went numb. And from that point forward, my foot has been numb completely on the bottom side. We are two and a half months, three months out from that, and it still feels the exact same as it did on day one. I went to the hospital, got it checked out. We thought maybe I had diabetes because, you know, I'm a big dude, I drink a lot of Mountain Dew. No, I'm healthy as an ox when it comes to Mountain Dew, cholesterol, blood pressure, blood sugar, all this stuff. Somehow, I'm fine. So then they referred me to an ortho doctor. I scheduled the appointment and it was literally four weeks away from that. So I had a whole nother month of trying to deal with it. I've taken all kinds of nerve blockers. I've had foot cream, nerve cream that's supposed to completely debilitate your foot. And while the numbness was really scary for me, it wasn't like crazy pain or anything like that whenever I was walking around. It was just like walking on your foot that's asleep. But because of the numbness, I can never really get proper planning on my foot. My ankle would roll all the time while I was walking because I just didn't have any control over the muscles in my foot. But because of this numbness, there was extreme uncomfort in my foot when trying to do anything at all. It was very dangerous because like I said, I didn't really have any kind of control in my foot. So I could go to plant to throw a frisbee and really roll over and maybe even break my ankle again. So I had to take it easy. Only true pain that happens is when I try to sleep at night, which is arguably the worst time to have pain. There will be a sharp, and I mean sharp sensation going through the arch of my foot all the way up through my toes. There's been so many nights where I've been up till four or five in the morning where I'm trying to massage my foot. I've got it in a foot massager. I've got pain relief cream. I'm taking nerve blockers, anything to try to make it stop so I can at least go to sleep. But it would get to the point where my body was just so exhausted that it would fall asleep through the pain. It's, it's very miserable. It hasn't been like that in about a month or so, so I'm, I'm thankful for that. There's still slight discomfort when I try to sleep, but I can at least fall asleep every night now. So anyway, I made this appointment for this ortho doctor, and in this four weeks that I'm waiting, I get a text from Paul Macbeth, very last minute, they need a fill-in for the Celebrity Pro-Am disc golf thing that happens at Ben Askren's house. And I was not going to pass up that opportunity, even though my foot was completely just not in a good position at all. I went up to Wisconsin. I played in the Celebrity Pro-Am. I embarrassed myself a lot. I had a couple good shots, but I, uh, I was hurting very bad. You should see all these videos come out in, I think, August is when they said all these will be released. And I'll make sure to share those with you guys whenever they come out, even though I don't want to watch them because I know how bad it did. But now I fast forward to right now. I had my ortho doctor appointment last week, and they took x-rays of my foot. They looked at it. They saw a previous injury, and there was like a piece of my bone sticking up on the top side of my foot. But that has nothing to do with any of the discomfort that I'm having, the numbness, nothing. It's just, it's been there. And I don't know what it's from. But anyway, he did some physical exams on my foot. And he was like, yeah, uh, you ruptured your plantar fasciitis. And so it could be anywhere from eight weeks to nine months before the numbness goes away. Sometimes longer in extreme cases. And I've honestly just been waiting to kind of figure out what exactly was going on. So I know how to do the proper treatments on myself. So I don't really risk 
further hurting myself out here. And now that I know that it's a ruptured ligament, that it'll heal on its own, he, there's no surgery required for it. He basically just told me, keep doing what I'm doing. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna start playing disc golf again. I'm gonna start making more videos again. And that is where I have been for the last two months on this channel. I know I really bigged it up saying I was gonna go full steam ahead on this all summer, but I kinda got sidelined. There wasn't much I could do about it. But now I'm here. I'm ready to make another push. I've got a cameraman now that's going to follow us around so Brock and I aren't always, you know, taking turns filming and taking the time to do that. The cameraman is actually my brother Ryan who has been in a couple of the early Crip Sports days if you guys have been subscribed for a while. But we're really about to hit the disc golf stuff hard. I am currently in talks with my city to build a disc golf course in my city and I'll take you guys along that journey as well if that gets approved. And there's Brock up there at the house looking at me right now. You want to say something? Do you know what you're doing? Yeah, I think. But uh, yeah, that's basically what's about to happen right now. Uh, if you guys have any ideas for disc golf videos, please let us know. We've got some ideas that we're working on. We've already filmed two videos. I hit my longest shot ever in one of the videos, so that's going to be awesome for you guys to see. So thank you to anybody that is still sticking around on this channel. I appreciate any patience that you've given me. But it is not over yet. I am ready to go full force on this, do tons of videos, get myself healthier, and just have a lot of fun because sports was always my first love and it makes me happy. So yeah, subscribe if you have not. Go watch some other videos. We are still like 1,000 watch hours away from getting our monetization so we can really hit this even harder once the videos get monetized. So please, just go watch everything. Help us get those watch hours. And that's it. Love you guys. See you guys in the next video. Cause I've been grinding all night.